Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also please check out the Telegram channel in the description below. So we saw a nice correction today, you know, uh, of Bitcoin. It drops, uh, you know, approximately 5% or so. Um, but again, what do we call this, right? I mean, it, you know, it, Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin goes down. It's business as usual, right? It works both ways. If, if the asset can climb from $3,800 $3, to, to $12,000 in a few months, it sure as hell can drop back down 5% in a day, right? So if you're new to the asset class, and, and you know maybe I think a lot of people uh, that follow my channel, because my channel is relatively new to the space, right? I only started this channel in 2019. Um, you know, there were a significant number of people that actually did get into crypto in this region or somewhere on the way up. And I think the reason is just because it was in the news, you know, Bitcoin was... Uh, dead again, right? Um, and a lot of people, I think, saw it as an opportunity to to pick up some some cheap Bitcoin, and so far it has been working out very well for them. Now we've covered these moves before, right? When we were when we were in the this phase over here, if you remember, we called it right. We called this our reaccumulation phase, right? So you know, essentially from this point on over. We had about 84 days of a reaccumulation phase, and that's what we called it, not a distribution phase, so then go back down, but likely a reaccumulation phase during a potential bull market, right? I mean, we still need to hold the 20 week to confirm, but as, as far as we're concerned now, there's a good chance that this is the bull market, right? This is the bull market, and that again, five, 10% corrections are just par for the course. And I should remind you that five to 10% corrections are nothing in a bull market. Remember, if you haven't, if you haven't lived through one of these yet, you have to remember that we're gonna see even 40% corrections or even 30% corrections, right? These are gonna be par for the course. When you look back on it, when you look back on this market cycle in hindsight, if it does in fact tend to be that this is the bull market that lasts us a few years, you know, it's gonna look like um, something, you know, people, people in say, you know, 2023 or 2024, they're going to look back on this time and say, oh, you were so lucky. Look at this really nice move up. But, you know, you're going to have lived through it, right? You're going to have lived through these moves up and then these, you know, these um, gut wrenching punches basically that bring you back down 30 or 40 percent. And it's going to happen so many times, right? It's going to happen over and over and over again. Um, and, and this is just one of those things that you just need to be aware that as long as, I mean, this is basically going off historical data, right? Obviously historical historical patterns don't necessarily need to be projected to the future, but I personally like to use them to inform my future decisions because it tends to work out better than not using anything. Um, and we know that the 20 week moving average, right, has historically been a decent support level, right, on that weekly time frame. So again, the 20 week moving average today is is this red line here which is approximately 91.53 so it's climbing quickly but this would be ultimately like the the lowest point i could see bitcoin go and still have the bull market be in full effect right and know that we could see a wick below it uh, you know if we go down to say nine thousand dollars or eight thousand or eighty five hundred dollars for like an hour it doesn't discount it we would want to see in order for the bull market or say in order for the bear market to resume or to see a continuation of, a, of another bear market phase. We would need to see weekly candles closing below the 20 week, in my opinion, right? This is not financialized, this is just my opinion. We would need to see weekly candles closing below that 20 week moving average. So as far as I'm concerned, even if the price drops from where it currently is, it could drop another 20% and the bull market could be unfazed, right? Of course, you know, some people are gonna get shaken out Right, a lot of altcoins will bleed like crazy back into stable coins, back into Bitcoin. But for the for the most part, right, if the if this is the beginning of the bull market, we'll regroup, we'll gather ourselves, and we'll then can, you know systematically continue on our way throughout the bull market, recognizing that we're going to see moves up, we're going to see moves down. Now I say this right, but I mean at the same time, you know, Bitcoin hasn't really it hasn't gone down that far, right? I mean it's only down five percent. In a few days, it could be right back up to twelve thousand dollars, right? And in fact, if we look at the daily time frame, and we zoom in here, you know, we went up to twelve thousand, and we dropped back down a wick down to almost ten five, and then we came back up. We've seen wicks down, um, you know, we saw a wick down. Uh, I mean, now we're going into the new day, right? 
But I mean, this, right, is just business as usual. And you can see it, it's actually coming up close here to the 20 day moving average. Not that I think the 20 day is, is really that special, uh, but it sometimes, you know, it sometimes holds a, holds a, a support level. Uh, more or less, right? I mean, it's not, a, it's certainly not a perfect science or anything, but I mean, this might be, this might be a level to watch um, and to, and to anticipate something. Again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, selling Bitcoin um, uh, in anticipation of a, of a crash, right? I mean, I, I trade based on the risk metric that I developed for the, for the, for the premium list. So check that out if you haven't. And I just, I, you know, I, whenever it gets to the risk level that I, I want to sell at, then I start dynamically DCing my sales. And when it's um, below that, I just di I dynamically DCA my buys. So what I'm looking for is is for for Bitcoin to you know to you know there's still a good chance that we just regroup here at 11 you know around 11k and then just continue on right and we take another stab at 12k. Remember how long we spent between 8600 and and 10k right? If if we go back to the daily time frame, I mean we just showed this not that long ago. But if you if you take a measured move here, the amount of time we spent, and actually I haven't showed this one in a while. Let me let me show the let me measure it by weekly, and then we're going to switch to monthly. Um, so let's hide the moving averages. Okay, and then we're going to zoom in, and we know that this lasted approximately um, between it was around eighty six hundred or so at the low. That was kind of like the lowest point we were testing, more or less. And then at the high, it was around 10K, right? This is where the tops of a lot of these wicks were going. And then we said, you know, there's an, kind of this intermediate region, you know, between them at around, um, you know, I, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not exact, right? But I mean, somewhere, somewhere in this region uh, where, we, where we basically said that, um, you know, it, it's, it, tends to, it tends to kind of be either above or below this. And if you look at the monthly time frame. Uh, and I guess it was I had previously drawn it around 94. But if you look at the monthly time frame, you know we followed these moves here. We said okay, we're in the we're in the bottom portion of this, and then the next one just skyrocketed us to the next level. So when you look at the the macroscopic view, right? I mean this is just business as usual, and it still would be even if we saw a candle come back down to you know to 10k or even to to 9600 or even down to like 9,200 back to where the, the 20 week moving average is. So remember, we have a long ways to go in this market cycle. So I just wanna you know remind people that, you know, it, it's business as usual when we go up in a bull market. It's also business as usual to see these corrections. Um, and the way that I know that the party's over or the way that I would project that the party is over for the short term, right, is if Bitcoin breaks the 20 week moving average on the weekly time frame. And it essentially just means that we're kicking the can down the road. Like we're, we're basically saying, okay, if we go below the 20 week, then most altcoins are going to bleed into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's going to go down, right? I mean, but in addition to Bitcoin going down, a lot of altcoins are going to go down worse, right? And so it's a good time to, you know, potentially that's a, a decent, like safe haven, right? Um, into stable coins or into Bitcoin, if you want to minimize your loss, but still retain some exposure to the crypto markets. The thing you have to be careful about once we do go down to the 20 week, which will inevitably happen at some point, right, is, is you want to be careful about potentially, you know, imagine, imagine a case like this, you don't, I, I just don't, you don't want to jump the gun in a sense, right, because imagine a case like this, where the price just went barely below the 20 week, uh, this was a nice rebound, right. So if, if we generate this over like this confidence, right, that the bull market is in full effect, and you want to, you know, and, and you're and you you want to be um, optimistic about Bitcoin, and, and your your focus, right, is to be purchasing Bitcoin over years and years to then systematically, you know, DCA your cells once it goes up another 10x or something. Then you know, potentially buying right at the 20 week could be could be uh you know could be something that is at least considered, right? Um, but the downside is is if you see things like this happen. Uh, where we where we see these candles go below it, then it tends to go down in the short term, right? You see the candles printing below it, it tends to go down in the short term. So this is just something I, you know I, I want people to to consider to be to be cognizant of that this could easily happen at some point. It will happen at some point that we will revisit the twenty week, and when it does happen, I, I just don't want people to to overly panic. Just have your plan now and stick to it. And again, if you want access to the risk levels that I use to um, you know, to, to, to buy and sell a lot of the cryptocurrencies, 
then please check out my premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. We have a lot of people using it. Uh, you get access to the risk dashboard in addition to a strategies dashboard that'll help walk you through different dynamic DCA selling strategies for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, we have, in addition to that, you get access to a weekly newsletter, a weekly premium video, and you get access to a private Telegram alerts and discussion channel. So please check it out. The prices will be going up soon. If you want to get grandfathered in, then make sure you sign up before they go up in a few weeks. And if you want a discount, you can pay for six or 12 months using cryptocurrency. And for instance, for 12 months, you'll get a 15% discount. So remember guys, business as usual, nothing has really changed. You know, the, 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 the goal, right, is, is still years away, right? Because I, I don't think, as I've said many times, you know, I, I don't think that the next peak is in 2021 and I, I just don't and you know when when the price goes up I, I tend to get the trolls on the channel saying oh like it's a four-year cycle which I mean I'm not saying that if you believe in the four-year cycle you're a troll but it's just people will then troll me and say you know you're 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 a jokester like there's no way it's it's the peaks not in 2021 and then the minute you see a correction or something right like in March when you see a really big correction or even a day where you see a five or 10% move, then people kind of change their tune because they, they, they just trade based on their emotions. When things are moving up, they, they want to criticize anyone that has an opinion that is, is different than theirs. And then when things are going down, they just kind of uh, go back into their shells a lot of times. So, you know, my, my opinion is not going to change uh, anytime soon. One question I have gotten is like, what is something that would make me think that we could be on an accelerated schedule rather than say, I mean, so if you're unfamiliar with what my projected peak would be, it would be sometime between the fourth quarter of 2022 to the second quarter of 2024. And I, I tend to think that 2023 is when it'll happen. Um, and I don't change from that. Like I don't waver from that. It, it, it has not changed uh, no, matter, no matter if we're pumping up 300% or dumping 60% a day. It just isn't going to change, right? What would make it change, you know, and this is the question I often get is like, well, is there something that would cause you to change your mind? And and I've said before, right, you know, the, the thing that might cause me to change my mind is if we get to a sustainable $20,000 Bitcoin in the next five or like five or six months or so. So if you see us come up above 20K and then maybe come back down to it, hold it as support and then continue on, then sure, yeah, I'll say, you know, it's we're likely to we're likely to continue to, to potentially make a move up to this region, you know, over here, right? This this would be like, okay, this is probably where we're headed. I just don't think that this is going to happen. I think it's gonna I think again it's gonna take longer um, and and you know potentially be about 14 to 16 more months, right? Where we maybe we see a bubble and then come back down or and maybe we come up to the to 20k come back down and, and just kind of continue on our merry way and then eventually break it closer to the end of 2021 or beginning of 2022 where we see a sustainable $20,000 Bitcoin. And then from there, from, from that point on, um, uh, we'll, I think we'll go parabolic, right? And a lot of, a lot of, a lot of YouTubers uh, you know, don't like to cover this because it's not, it's not flashy, it's not what people want to hear, right? They want to hear $300,000 Bitcoin by 2021. And anything other than that is just uh, it's just not worth putting on the channel. Um, but I think what'll happen, right? I think as time goes on, as we as we continue to, you, you notice a lot of times when when the when the price dips down, a lot of people will then kind of a lot of other uh, people that make content will then talk about lengthening cycles. Uh, but when prices start moving, it's it's a hundred k Bitcoin in twenty twenty one. So we'll see what happens. But. Um, you know, this is just something to keep keep your eyes out for. I would also I would also project that as we continue on over the next um, six to twelve months, you'll you'll slowly start to see more and more people uh, talking about lengthening cycles. Like it's already it's already started a lot. I mean, there's already a lot of other people that have started talking about it. Uh, but as as time goes on, you'll see it become more and more prevalent. As as people then right when 2021 comes and their one hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin isn't here. Well, then they go searching for a reason, right? And then it becomes, you know, confirmation bias in a sense. Like you're, you're looking for a reason that, that it's not at 100K. And then you say, oh, lengthening cycles. But it, it makes sense now because it's not there. It's not, it's just not at 100K. Um, but now, of course, like you don't want to believe it because you would rather be, you'd rather see that 10X realized return in, in 15 months rather than say 36 months, okay? 
So uh, let me know what you guys think. Please check out the Telegram channel. Check out the premium list if you want access to the exclusive content. Remember, the prices will be going up. So if you want to get grandfathered in, make sure you sign up before the prices go up. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get so you'll see future videos. And make sure you click on the alerts, the bell icon to get alerted of future videos. That'll wrap it up for this time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.